Hello, I'm Richard Durr, Leisure Services Director for Seminole County, and thank you for joining us for this Rolling Hills Community Park Project Update. This is Chapter 2 of 4 in the presentation, and with this chapter we'll discuss the vision and inspiration for the design of the project. In January 2019, the vision for the conceptual plan for Rolling Hills Community Park was presented at a public meeting to the Board of County Commissioners. The vision for the Rolling Hills project finds its foundation in the work and philosophy of America's father of landscape architecture, Frederick Law Olmsted. The inspiration for the design approach of Rolling Hills can also be found in parallels to some of America's most classic parks. Olmsted's design philosophy and legacy in parks design includes beloved public places such as Central Park and Prospect Park in New York, and with his work on the Emerald Necklace in Boston, among others. The parallel between these places and the layout, characteristics, and potential of Rolling Hills are very similar. Olmsted's design vision of these public parks was essentially to improve the quality of life for its visitors by creating an escape to nature within congested, urbanized areas. Parks which would be places of both recreation and recreation, where the character of these places would help to restore the mind, body, and spirit. These places provide strong civic and natural scenery, which bring beauty to the eye and the heart, and create places for people to engage each other and appreciate their neighbors within their shared community place. These are created places of meaning, deliberately designed to foster these experiences. To implement this vision, Olmsted's design philosophy was to create a park plan which appeared to have evolved over the natural passage of time and were shaped by natural forces. This included creating what's called indefinite edges, or a landscape that appears to blend into the horizon, providing only glimpses of what's beyond. This could be accomplished through the gentle treatment of the landscape, partially through, ironically, rolling hills. These intentionally constructed compositions would give the feeling of being in a natural area which just sort of grew up that way, and the effect would serve to refresh and delight the eye, mind, and spirit. This approach to park design was all about what's called the narrative power of scenery, or the ability of a place to affect its visitor by telling a story, by intentionally using the interplay between light and shadow, by creating areas of lush foliage, a feeling and place of peacefulness could be created, again, across gently rolling hills. One parallel to the Rolling Hills concept can be taken directly from the Emerald Necklace in Boston. This is very much a series of spaces, like the golf holes of Rolling Hills, all with different functions within the local neighborhood surrounding it. Some spaces are about water and the ability to interact with the water's edge, while other spaces are about open lawns and trails, which allow the visitor to move through the site. Some may include formal plantings and walls to create a place for a specific use, like a performance area or a gathering spot. And others are just about being in a natural environment, away from the congestion and traffic and noise. We've recently seen here, not just in Seminole County, but around the country, almost a new discovery of the importance of outdoor public parks during this pandemic. The graphic on the right illustrates a summary of the explosion in attendance at our parks and trails here in Seminole County. Our neighbors here are using places to recharge and to recreate. All of this is being done by experiencing our natural open places and seeking to improve the physical health, social health, and emotional health of its visitors. To speak to that point, these images were all taken just recently at one similar Central Florida park all on one morning. The ability for residents to exercise, sit, enjoy being with their families or friends, Gardening, playing sports, or just finding a place to relax are all of the things that one deliberately designed passive park can provide. We're all rediscovering the importance of open green space in our community, and Rolling Hills is no exception. This project site includes many different environmental conditions, such as lowlands and ponds, uplands, grasslands, shady oak hammocks, and high and dry pine land. And all of these systems can be enhanced and accessed through a thoughtful approach which looks to embrace these elements and wrap them into the park's design. Likewise, by giving the same deliberate thoughtfulness into the design of constructed elements, walls, pavilions, and other elements known as garden architecture, are just as important to the overall experience of the visitor. These places designed to work within the natural environment of a passive park help to create special, memorable moments. 
This vision for the park's design also includes one which provides inclusive experience for all visitors of all abilities. We can design for the visual, auditory, tactile, and social needs of every resident, creating a park for all visitors to enjoy. How we translate this approach and vision into the physical design for the site and its unique character is the subject of Chapter 3 of our presentation. Thank you again for joining us.